a little bit more about the swatches palette. The swatches palette has all of your colors in it. So this is your swatches palette. You'll notice by default we have a handful of colors here. And if I double click on this, a swatch, it will open up its swatch properties. Now by default, it names the swatch by its CMYK value, which doesn't do anything for me. That doesn't really tell me what color it is. If I want, I can uncheck this name with color value and I can say, you know what, I just want to name it blue. Click OK. And now it changes the name to just blue. That means a lot more to me. And you may want a lot more colors than is provided here, clearly. Let's say I want a brown. I can come down here to this icon and it says new swatch. So if I click on the new swatch, it will make a new swatch of the one that I had selected. So now I had this orange color selected and it made a new one. I can double click on it and say, we don't want to name it with the color value. We're going to call this brown. And I can adjust these right here to get the brown that I'm looking for. And click OK. Now you'll notice that I have a brown swatch. This is the way you can create certain swatches. For example, let's say I wanted like a baby blue or a light blue. I would select my blue icon because it's pretty close. Click on new swatch, make a blue copy, double click, and open up my swatches properties. Light blue. And I'm going to adjust our magenta till we get to where we want it to be. Add a tiny bit of green right there. That looks like a pretty good light blue right there. And if you want, you can change your CMYK to RGB or whatever else. Pantone, they have many, many different kinds. Once I have the color that I want, let's go ahead and click OK. Now I have a light blue. So once I have a bunch of swatches that I like, you can reuse them from document to document. So let's say I have all the colors I typically use for any given document. I can go up here to my options, save swatches. Find the same folder that your documents saved in and save your swatches. You may even have a default swatches that you use all the time. Every time you create a new document, you want to load in your custom swatches. To do that, you just come up to your options, load swatches. You find those swatches, click on it and open it and it will bring all your swatches into your swatches panel. This is a way that you can load up and reuse and create all the swatches that you need and use them for any document that you may need in the future.